Hey everybody, CQ here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And this video is my favorite of the month. For real, like this is a disclaimer. I know everyone says this, but I cannot believe that I'm doing October favorites. Like where in the world did it go? We were just saying, oh, uh, September favorites. It's October the 1st. And now it's like the end of October. That's crazy to me, but it's all good because I like the holidays. Thanksgiving, Christmas, birthday, all that good stuff. All right, yes, I said my birthday as a holiday because like, yeah, yeah. But anyway, let's get on to the favorites because I have a few things to show you. It is not a lot but it is substantial. So first, let's start with this mascara right here. This is Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. So the packaging is pretty bulky, but I really do like this mascara. But, oh, let me show you. I don't, did I talk about this last favorites? I don't remember. But anyway, so I've really been loving this mascara, okay? But the thing about it is, I like it with this one right here. Now, not the mascara. This is the Voluminous Superstar by L'Oreal. But I don't like the mascara so much as I like the primer. Okay, so this primer is the business with this mascara. And I think I talked about these two before, but not in a favorites video. So this right here is the one for the primer. And I like the fact that this is replacing my MAC Prep and Prime primer, okay, my mascara primer. Not that this is like the best ever, but it definitely does a good job when paired with the right mascara. So I use it with this one and then life is great. And this is what I've been doing like during the week when I do not wear lashes, when I wear makeup, probably like once during the week. But this is my go-to concoction for when I do not rock my falsies, okay. I really like this a lot. And I have been purchasing more mascaras than I used to, you guys, because I don't know. I don't know. I'm like on this mascara kick. I'm on this like concealer kick. So you will probably be seeing more reviews, more products in my get ready with me's and in my tutorials. But for now, these babies together are the perfect combination. So the next item that I have really been loving and I'm actually surprised. Like I heard about this product a couple of years ago and I wasn't really into foundation primers or face primers. So I didn't really go run out and get it. But lately I have been into primers a lot because I noticed that they do make a difference with the foundation and it does act as a barrier between my skin and the foundation. So I've been drawn to using more primers and I've been trying more primers. So I was in Rite Aid when I was looking for those Revlon lipsticks. Remember that video? Yeah, that right there. So I was in there looking for those and I stumbled upon this right here. And I don't even know if you guys can see that really good. But anyway, this is by Black Radiance. It is a true complexion shine control primer. I also used this in a recent tutorial. Now I was actually shocked at the consistency of this primer. So I'm gonna show you a little bit because it kind of blew me away. I really wasn't expecting that. I don't know what I was expecting, but not what I got, okay? So that is what the consistency looks like. It is kind of creamy and foamy all in the same. And then look how it blends out. It's like really, really white. And I put like a whole lot on my hand. That's gonna take forever for me to wipe down. So let me wipe some off. So now I'm gonna rub it in. But you see how it kind of like disappears? But it's mattifying, you guys. It dries clear. But let me tell you why I really, really love this. Okay, so first off, I do not like those silicone -y, and I know that silicone -y is not a word, but I just made it up right now, okay? So <laughs> I don't like those silicone -y, like primers because it's just kind of slippery feeling. And once I put my primer on and I begin to put on my makeup, I do not like for my hands to feel like they're slipping on my face and like I have to go wash my hands. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So I like that when you put this on, it is like there's no slip at all but it is very moisturizing like it feels like you're putting on a moisturizer and you know what it's $5.99 cue the music ice cream man and so the next item that we have here are these babies oh my gosh now i have a separate video like a whole nother video i said whole nother whole nother video featuring these matte shadows right here i did a video where i talked about them and i swatched them all then i did a tutorial for you guys but i will have you know i'm not just talking about the new matte shadows i'm talking about the whole line of makeup geek matte shadows i have been really really using these for the month of october guys and I have, as a matter of fact, how about this? 
I just used this color Fuji today. This lime green right here, I just used that today on this look right here in the inner corner, uh-huh, which I have a tutorial coming soon. And if the video is up already, you know I got you. I'll put it in the description box or I will put it somewhere in the video. If not, stay tuned so you don't miss it. Make sure you subscribe, okay? I have been using this color a lot right here, this Americano color. And you know what? I'm gonna swatch them just because I'm talking about it. But this color right here, Americano, that baby I have been using, especially when I use a natural look. Use a natural look now. Especially when I wear a natural look. So I will use this right here in my lash line to make it look like I have lashes because I'm on the itty bitty lash committee. So you gotta fake it till you make it, all right? So I put it in the lash line and I try to put a little bit of mascara, but this helps me out a lot. So that's what I like. And not only have I been using it in the lash line, but I also use it for detailed work when I'm doing like a, even like a neutral look or a deep look or vamp, whatever I'm trying to do. And I want it to be a little more detailed. I will use Americano. Okay. So I have a Mac eyeshadow, you guys, and I don't know if it is in bark or if it's espresso. All I can see is the E, but I know people were making comments and saying that this was not a dupe for espresso, that it was in bark. So whichever one it is, I've been using it in place of, okay? But they are all good, so I wanted to make sure that I talked about them, especially my Americano right there, because that's bad. Now, this item right here, you guys, I have been loving this. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. Now, I know that this has been around for eons, and I know that I am tardy to the party, but I just got this baby because I got the Too Faced Vegas Nay palette, the Stardust palette, and this was in there. This right here, you guys, is the bomb. I've been using it as an eyeshadow primer, and I've been putting it under my eye because you guys know that I have this whole creasing situation. So I try to prevent that as much as I can. And so I've been using this just like that, and I love it. It dries matte, but it's not so matte to where it feels like it's just making everything kind of crust up. It doesn't do that. I really like this stuff. The next item I want to talk about is a mirror. And when I posted this baby on Snapchat, when I say y'all went crazy, y'all went crazy. I think there were like four left in stock. And I posted it up and I gave y'all the link. Like I took a picture of the website or Amazon, the link and stuff like that. And you guys, in like not even a couple of hours, they were gone. But I think there's more in stock. So if you hurry, you may be able to get some. But I don't know I'm gonna show you this without blinding you. Like, I don't even think this through. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And it is like, it's a vanity mirror. Like, you know how you have those, um, what is it called, vanity girl? The real big vanity girls that go on your vanity? Well, I didn't want one that huge because I did not want it to like take up all the space on my new desk. So I wanted something that was still cute, that would still get the job done, but look similar to the vanity girl mirror. So my girl Beauty with Mika here on YouTube, she's on Instagram too. I told her that I was looking for one and in like a matter of like 10 minutes, the girl sent me a link and I was like, yes, that is it right there. So I'm really happy. And not only is it like really cutesy, but let me see if I can show you like this. It has a little space underneath right here where you can place stuff in it while you're doing your makeup. And on the back, it has like a little magnifier right there and it swings around to the front. Uh-oh, can I do it right? Can I do it right? There you go. And it swings around to the front, so if you wanna do detail work and like do your eyebrows or whatever, but I keep it to the back, cause like, I don't need that much magnification. I think it's like 10 times. Okay, so not only that, you guys, it has a couple of features, all right? So it tilts, right? You can, it goes all the way, oh my God, I don't even know it goes that far, but there you go. And then it goes like all the way straight which is just, I, I love this mirror, y'all. I love this mirror. I probably should just get another one just because I love it. And then it has a touch screen button right there, but you can also click it off. It has a light, that's what I'm getting to, but it has an off switch and an on switch. So when you don't want the touch screen to work, you just do the master switch in the back. But then you touch the little power button and voila, look at the lights. Let me see, let me turn off my ring light, hold on. Y'all see that? Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this mirror. Okay, back to coming. This just recently, recently, recently came out. So this is like an honorable mention and then I'm gonna go to my final products, okay? But this is the lipstick that I have on right now. And I had to tell you about it because I wore this yesterday in a makeup look and I was like, I loved it so much that I'm gonna rock it again today. And that's what I'm doing. 
And so this is a lippy sticks by ColourPop and this is in the color Ruffle and this is from their newest holiday set. This is a matte nude lippy and I don't really like to wear matte nude lippies all the time because it can make you look like borderline morbid, all right? So I try to put a gloss on it whenever I do wear a nude lippy because I don't know, it just makes it look juicy and it makes it look really cute. Now this is not in my favors. This is actually my first time using it, but I do like it and it does smell really good. But it came in a set and this is Mally Beauty, I think is how you say it, M-A-L-L-Y, Mally Beauty. And I showed this in a haul like months back, you guys. So I'm actually glad that I'm using this baby. But this is in Starburst, how cute is that? And so it's just a little gloss and I'm putting it in this video because that's what I'm rocking and because I talked about that lippy and I would not wear that without this. So there you go and it does have like a hint of pink to it and it does have like some glitter reflex in it which just sets this lippy off. And I have on Max Chestnut Lip Liner that I rock with everything. Like every nude lip, I do chestnut. So the final products I'm gonna talk about and I'm pretty sure that y'all knew this was coming. If y'all follow me on Snap, or you follow me on Instagram, or you follow me anywhere, you know I've been using these babies like so much. But these are the new gel liners by ColourPop and the new cream gel by ColourPop. And I'm showing you ones that I'm actually rocking today, but almost every, no, not almost, every single time I've been doing my makeup ever since I got these whole packages, which those are the packages up there, you see those? And I have a video on that too, I will link it. But Ever since I got them, I've been rocking them. And this is the color that I wore today as a base for this eye look, which it's coming like I told you, but that is it. And this is in the color Workout. And I'm not gonna swatch this because these cream gel, once they get on, they don't move. And I don't feel like the struggle, but I will swatch the pencils because they're not as stubborn as the cream gels. And these are pencils that I'm rocking today as well. And this one is in the color Maybe. And this is what I have in my waterline. And like I said, I'm ready, ready. But that is what I have in my lash line and that's called Maybe. And I have this color Fast Lane on, but we're gonna put just an itty bitty amount because I'm not trying to break this baby. So there they are. And I told y'all I was gonna be using them. Like I told y'all I was gonna find a use for all these colors. Like I'm not kidding. I even wore the purple in the waterline before, all right? So there you go. Those are those colors right there. Those are they. And that is it for this favorites video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to thumbs up. And until the next video, you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Hey everybody, CQ here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And this video is my favorites of the month. For real, like this is a disclaimer. I know everyone says this, but I cannot believe that I'm doing October favorites. Like where in the world did it go? We were just saying, oh, uh, September favorites. It's October the 1st. And now it's like the end of October. That's crazy to me, but it's all good because I like the holidays. Thanksgiving, Christmas, birthday, all that good stuff. All right, yes, I said my birthday as a holiday because like, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, let's get on to the favorites because I have a few things to show you. It is not a lot, but it is substantial. So first, let's start with this mascara right here. This is Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. So the packaging is pretty bulky, but I really do like this mascara. But, oh, let me show you. I don't, did I talk about this last favorites? I don't remember. But anyway, so I've really been loving this mascara, okay? But the thing about it is, I like it with this one right here. Now, not the mascara. This is the 